Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you all are doing right. Today we are going to talk about the T log extension. In order to understand the T log extension, let's take one of the site. Uh, in my case, the site ID is 34. Right. On this site, I have the two Vanage devices, the VS devices. One is VS3, another one is VS4. Each of them has their own separate circuits. VS3 has the MPLS link, while the VS4 has the internet link. So that VS3 is participating into the SD-WAN cloud by using the MPLS circuit, and the VS4 is participating in the SD-WAN cloud by using their internet circuit. Now, what if this MPLS circuit goes down? So all of the traffic going to the VS3 is going to be dropped. And, and, and in the vice versa as well. So if this internet circuit goes down, all of the traffic that is going through the VS4 is gets stopped. So in order to facilitate that, is both of the devices are on my same side. So they can they can connect to each other by by their a private circuit. So in my case, I have connected these two vanity devices over a direct physical link. Right. What I will do, I will extend this circuit to the VS device VS3 over this private connected link. This is which is in our case is directly connected to each other. So so that so this VS3 will have both the link, the MPLS and the internet circuits. Let me reiterate all my statement that I have told it to you. In my case on VS3 I have MPLS link and on vs4 i have internet link right vs3 is participating into the sd event cloud using the mpls circuit and vs4 it part is participating into the sd event cloud by using the internet circuit what i'm going to do is both of these vs devices are on the same side and they could get connected to each other by using their internal lan or by a direct physical link in my case it's a direct physical link I'm extending this internet circuit to this VS device so that VS3 will have two options to go to the SD-WAN cloud. One is of an MPLS and other one is of an internet. So let's start the configuration. This is my VS3. As you can see, that tunnel is successfully established. With all the VBON, with all the controllers, V Smart, V Bond, and V Manage, right? And in the same way, VS4 has successfully established the channel with the controllers. V Smart, V Bond, and V Manage. Now, before doing to the configuration, going for the configuration, what I need to see what is the interface which is participating into the uh, SD WAN cloud on the VS3. So in order to know that, we have to type sure and VPN zero. And this VPN zero, I can see the GE zero zero interface is participating into the SD WAN cloud in the color that I have associated to this interface is of an MPLS. There is no other interface; it is participating to the SD WAN cloud. And the other important thing is the system configuration of this interface of this VS device, as you can see. The site ID is 34. In the same way, I'll go to the VH4 device and see the interface that is participating into the SD WAN cloud is GE0-0, and the color associated to this interface is base internal. The other thing that I have to see is the system related configuration. And as you can see, the site ID is 34. Now going back to my VH3 device. The most important thing is, I have two other VS devices as well into my deployment, which is VH1 and VS2. So VS3 and VH4 is establishing a tunnel with the VS1 and VS2. Let me show it to you. As you can see, the, it is using the source lock which is in MPLS right and it is establishing the tunnel with site I, site 1 and site 2 
as site 1 and site 2 both has two circuit one is of an MPLS and other one is of base internet so site 3 is establishing the tunnel with site ID 1 on their MPLS circuit and their base internet circuit in the same way for site ID 2 they are establishing the tunnel on their MPLS circuit as well as on their base internet circuit by default this is a mesh topology and we are not discussing the topology right now so it's a mesh topology so all of the VH devices are going to establish a tunnel to each other but by using all of their circuits whatever it is right but the point to understand is that it didn't establish a tunnel with VH4 right in the same way I'll go to the VH4 and I see show BFD sessions it is establishing the tunnel with VA, uh, site ID 1 and 2, but it is not establishing a tunnel with the VH4. What is the problem? The problem is, it's not a problem. The thing is, they both are under the same site ID. That's why they are not establishing a tunnel to each other, but they are establishing a tunnel to all of the other devices. Right? Now, the thing is, is I can show it to you that the VH4 WAN interface is reachable on the VH3. It's not about a reachability. They do reachable to each other. Ping VPN0. As you can see, the VH4 is reachable on VH3, but they are not establishing a tunnel to each other because they are under the same site ID. I can show it to you again as well, the same site ID. Sure, in order to see the site ID, you have to go to the system configuration, show running system, and you can see the site ID is 34. And in the same way, I go to the VH4, so the site ID will be show running system configuration, the site ID is 34. As both they are in the same site ID, that's why they are not establishing a tunnel to each other. The moment we change their site IDs, they will establish a tunnel to each other as well. So this is uh, the physical interface that are connecting VS3, VS3 to VS4, I have to configure this interface. In order to extend the T-log, this interface or this uh, upstream to VS3. Let's go to the VS3 device. The configuration will, the VPN0, the VPN0, Interface will be GE 0 1. Let me just re verify. Yeah, it's 0 1. Let's no shut. Exit. Interface GE 0 1.34. That, that's a sub interface. The MTU will be 1496, 4 bytes of VLAN header. IP address 182.168.34.3 slash 24. As I am on VS3, right? So one of my uplink is this interface, and the other uplink will be over here, 1.34. So I, I will have a two upstream. One, this this one is of an MPLS socket, and this one I will call it as a base internet. Okay. So this will be also a tunnel interface. Encapsulation will be IPsec. Color will be base internet. A law service or no shut. Comment and quit. Let's see the configuration. Okay. This is the sub interface which we, I have to configure. And as you can see, this will be my business internet and will also act as an upstream. Now let's go to the VH4. And again, we have to configure the same sub interface VPN0 interface GE 0 1 no shut interface GE 0 1.34. Sorry.
IP address 192.168.34.4 slash 24 MTU 1496 Notion. Now, this is actually, this interface is extending the services actually of the other interface. Let me show it back to you again. I have configured the sub interface over here 0 slash 1.34. Right. This interface is actually extending the service of this interface to VS3. So the configuration that requires over here is just we will type it as a T log extension. So this is the T log extension of GE 0 dash 0. So that sub interface was the extension of GE0-0. That's it. That's it. Commit and query. Logically speaking, in the in the perspective of T-log extension, this is the this is the only command that used to extend the T-log, right? But there are other there are some other things that we had to take care of. Uh, as in the case of VS3, there's only one route in that VPN0. I have to add the another route for this sub interface as well. IP route 0.0.0 slash .0, 0 1 into 168.34.4. Commit and quit. Let me see that uh, the sub interface is reachable to me or not. 1 into 168.34.4. The thing is, I'm not typing the VPN 0 because by default the ping is using the VPN 0. As you can see, ping is using the VPN 0 and it is reachable to me. So uh, my gateway is reachable to me, which is a directly connected to the VS4. Now the point is, I have configured, I have extended the T log of VS4 this circuit over this line, right? And I have configured this interface as an uplink as well. Now the number of tunnels could have been increased because now I have two circuits. One is a MPLS, another one is of internet. But there's one thing that still it is not going to show it to me over here. Yeah, still it is establishing, it is only using the MPLS interface. It is not using the biz internet which I have configured right now. So what's the problem? The problem is this is a private interface, right? Which I'm using as 192.168.34. Dot zero slash twenty four. Now this private subnet isn't aware by any of the VH devices, so VH one didn't has a reachability to this interface or this subnet. Neither VS two. So what I have to do is I have to translate this private subnet into one of the global IP, and the global IP is definitely it will be GE zero dash zero because this is the global IP I'm extending this. This upstream to VS3. So this will be my global IP over here. Right. So I have to translate all of no, I have to translate this subnet actually into this interface IP. So in order to do that, I have to do an add configuration on this interface. Going back to my VS4. And in this case, I have to configure NAFT on this GE0-0. VPN0 interface GE0-0 NAFT. Commit and quit. Now all of the traffic that is leaving this interface will get translated into the WAN IP. Now I'm going back to my VS3 and see that the BFD session should have been increased. Yes, and you can see and now in the source T log, I'm using both of the interfaces. Both of one is MPLS and other one is a biz internet, right? And in the same way, if I check on the VS1 that how this VS3 is getting reachable to me, 
is using their public IP of the VH4. So BFD sessions. Which is in our case, this, this is the public IP. So VH1 is reaching. So there is no private IP as you can see. There is no private IP that is showing over here. It is not establishing a tunnel with the private IP. It is all of the public IPs which are reachable to each other. So that is how we are extending the T lock, right, of one of our VH devices to another VH device. We can extend the VH3 uplink to the VH4 so that VH so that VH4 will also have the two uplinks. One is of an internet and other one is of an MPLS. But in order to do, to do that, I have to configure another sub interface and over which I'm extending the T lock. 